I never, I never want to give up. But like all of you, I am human. And I do get discouraged. And then I think about my heroes. And I say to myself, man, I got to keep fighting for people like Courtney. And if you get an opportunity someday, you should, you should talk to Courtney. Do you want me to start from the beginning? Let's start from the beginning. Okay, yes sir. <clears throat> so I got married uh, February 2nd of 2018. Um, about a month into it, um, he told me that he was going to wrap his car around a tree. We got into an argument. So I got our chain of command involved. Um, we were able to um, talk him down. Um, we had to go to family advocacy. Um, he had to go to mental health. We kept getting arg arguments. You know, there was physical abuse and mental you know, mental abuse. So um, around August of 2018, um, I decided that we were going to separate. September 6th of 2018, um, all of my command and his command uh, knocked on my door around 5 o'clock in the morning and told me he had committed suicide. And uh, what helps you get through the dark, the dark days and the tough times now? So I always, you know, I do always have, you know, I still think about him, everything that has happened. I just, you know, I look at it now as I know he had, you know, a mental, mental illness yeah. and, you know, it's a real thing. Um, but what helps me get through it now is that, you know, I'm only 24 years old and I can't let that stop me from yeah. living my life, you know. Life's rough, it really is, but, yeah. you know, I'm tougher, I'm stronger. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. My superintendent at Little, Little Rock was probably the only reason why I was able to keep going. Yeah. She's dear and special to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, Senior Master Sergeant Santiago. Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh, hey. She was seriously the only reason I was able to keep going. Wow. She never stopped giving up on me. She's one of my best friends. I don't know if that's allowed, but oh. one of my best friends. Um, yeah, it's allowed because she's one of my best friends. Yes. Too. Yeah. She. <laughs> Still to this day, she wanted to, because I just got BTZ, and she wanted to yeah, put my stripes on. I was her supervisor, her superintendent. Yes, sir. That's what she and said. She was a young, young staff sergeant. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, I, I think I, if I remember correctly, I talked to her about all of my advice was centered around um, how much she needed her, uh, you needed her at that, at that point, and that she needed to, you know, stick with you. One of the more important aspects that that most people don't think about is the connectivity right, of having friends and family and Stephanie's and, and people. Yeah. Like how, how important has that been? Uh, it's probably been the most important for me. Um, so without them, I probably wouldn't have been, I might have still been stuck in that hole. You might think, you know, I feel like some people just lose that hope that no one cares for them, but there's always someone out there that cares. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now I got a new hero. <laughs> <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I know that there's probably so many other people that could that could benefit from hearing from you. Yes, and sir. see what you went through. And, and then to see your smiling face. Yes, sir. Right? And, and to know the importance of having friends and family, because it sounds like uh, they just made you stronger, right? Absolutely. So going through the tough times just made you stronger. So, so I would say, you know, continue to share your story and continue to lean on your friends and your family.